Welcome everyone to another episode of Poznanski's Beer Reviews. Today's beer is from a Samuel Adams Brewery. This is the Samuel Adams Rebel Juiced IPA. The only other review on this one is uh, that I've seen is um, uh, Louisiana Beer Reviews, Ronald Fierot. Um So, I'm... I took what he said into consideration, and I've never had this beer before, so he didn't seem too keen on it, so I don't know, we'll see. But they got the month notched July. Personally, I don't like it when they have the best buy date, I prefer, especially for IPAs, since hops tend to lose their flavor over time. Even Like, you can drink an IPA that's still within its expired date, and it'll taste the hops that'll have faded by then. Because, uh, it's different. That's why you want to know when it was canned. So, like, I, oh, it was only canned one week ago or two months ago, you know? Still fresh. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, on with the review. Um, commercial description on this one is swirling with ripe aromas of mango and tropical fruits. This IPA is packed with juicy citrusy hops and mango juice. It's as if we took fresh hops and mangoes and put them in a juicer. Okay, it's 6.2% alcohol by volume, 55 IBUs. Uh, rate beer gives us a 68 overall and a 45 in the style. Beer Advocate gives it an 82 overall. And a... Sorry, I'm just looking for my uh, can opener because I forgot that this isn't a twist off. There we go. Uh... Where was it? Beer Army 82 overall. The bros give it nothing. They didn't give it a score. Malta Sam Adams 2 Row Pale Malt Blend. Hops are Zeus, Mosaic, and Mandarina Hops. Special ingredients is mango or mango juice. This beer. I tend to like these kind of beers. The tropical, you know, although the beers I usually tend to like are also higher on the graded spectrum of Beer Advocate. So we'll see. Got the IPA glass. Smells something. I don't know if it's citrusy, uh, tropical hops, but uh, okay. So it doesn't actually look like an IPA in my opinion. It kind of looks more towards the pale ale type, almost to the golden side. Lots of carbonation. Got about a finger of a hmm, bright soapy white head. Typical of what IPAs usually almost smell like, although this one's very, rather faint. Not too overpowering. The Captain Daughters Double IPA and the uh, Flesh and Blood IPA that I did um, were a lot more pungent. It's very mild. Piney, pininess. A little tiny hint of mango, more pineapple, more grapefruit, in my opinion. Some breadiness. Some orange peel. Let's go on for the taste. You get the mango juice all the way up front, but I don't know, it doesn't taste like real mango juice. It's like that fake mango juice, because it's too sweet to be real mango juice. Very mild, very fruity. It is, I could see why they come in with the juice, but back end is a little off, very adjunct-like. It 
It's a good beer. It's not my favorite. I don't. I got five other five other ones of these to drink, and I'm kind of pissed off though. I didn't really. I don't really feel like drinking more of these. If I'm gonna drink an IPA, I'd rather drink the Captain Daughters one. That was oh my gosh! I gotta get that one again. That was the best tasting fucking IPA I've ever had. If you've never had Captain Daughters double IPA, go pick it up. That was the best one I've ever had. This one, this is okay. It's very mild. Not too much right now, you know. Uh, definitely not uh, one of your stronger IPA. I mean, it's strong in alcohol, like 6.2. I mean, if you're a lightweight like me, this might hit you in the first one. I'm not feeling anything yet, but, you know. It's almost more towards uh, pale ale. Not very, uh, kind of letting me down a little bit, Sam Adams. Your rubber browser was much better than this one. Uh, it's good beer, but, like, if I'll drink them. But will I buy this again? Probably not. I might get it on tap. I want to see how it is on tap. I like to see how most beers are on tap. Like, a lot of beers taste like shit sometimes, and then they can taste awesome on... Like, Pacifico tasted okay in the bottle. On tap, it's fucking brilliant. Bravissimo. You definitely get the mango, but it's just... It's very light, and... It's a weird bitterness in the back end that doesn't work well with the mango, in my opinion. Is uh, give it a 60. There's no failing. I mean, failing would be for me, 60 is okay. Failing for me would be like 30 and less. 40 is drinkable, even. So, I'll give this a 60 out of 100. One thing I do like, it has nice lacing. The head is still sticking good, good head retention. Um, Looks nice, very m much clearer than most IPA. This doesn't tend to look like it. It looks more like, as I said, a pale ale, almost to like a, one of the darker adjunct lagers. It's very clear and golden. Anyway, that's it for this review, guys. Before I run out of room on my fucking camera and it deletes the whole video, I'm gonna end it right here. Like I said. It's a good beer if you want to try it. Not my favorite. A little let down, but you know what? Cap, uh, Samuel Adams has much other beers from their brewery that I absolutely love, so I'm not going to criticize them. Anyway, that's it for this review. If you liked the review, please rate, comment, subscribe down below. Request any beers. Let me know what you think. And as always, we'll see you next time on Post Natsuki's Beer.